Hello everybody, Mrs Nolan here again. In this video we're going to look at money. I'm going to remind you first of all about how to work with coins and then I'm going to introduce you to some really good website games online that I'd like you to have a look at. In the next video we're going to be making a shop to have some shopping fun at home. Okay, so let's get started. So in our country we have got these coins. We have got a one penny coin a two pence coin, a five pence coin, a ten pence coin, a twenty pence coin, a fifty pence coin, a one pound coin and a two pound coin. These are all our coins in order of value. You won't be able to buy anything with a one p coin and I'm afraid you'll have to use lots of them but if you had a two pound coin well you could buy an ice cream that would be lovely. Now on this these coins we can see that they have got the amount in words. But if we go down and turn those coins over, we can see that on the other side, they've got the amount in numerals. And that's a lot easier for us to work out how to use our coins, because we can see the numbers. So there's our 1p coin, our 2p coin, our 5p coin, our 10p coin, our 20p coin, and our 50p coin. And over here, we've got our £1 and £2. Now, if you'd like a little bit more information about those coins, there's quite a good video clip on YouTube and that's got a simple explanation of each coin. The link for this video and all the other videos is, are on our website as well as on this page. So, we don't have a, one, a 3p coin or a 4p coin or a 6p coin, do we? We've looked at that in school. So we've only got a 1p coin, a 2p coin and a 5p coin and a 10p coin on this page. So if we want to make different amounts, we might have to combine them. We might have to use our learn it. We might have to use our calculation skills. But one easy way of using coins is to count them in ones or twos or fives or tens. That's why we learn to count in groups. I've got an apple here that costs 20p. Now we could count in ones, but it would take a very long time. You know I don't like doing that, don't you? 1p, 2, 3, 4, 5. You see how long this is going to take? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There, I've got 20p. That took a long time. And 1p coins are very heavy. Grown-ups don't like having them in the purses. They'd much rather use one of the other coins. So we could count in twos. We could use the 2p coins. Let's see if that's quicker. Can you count in twos with me? Two, four, six... 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Well, that was a lot quicker, but 2p coins are very heavy as well. Grown-ups don't like them much. Let's have a go with 5p coins. Are you ready to count in 5s up to 20? You ready? 5, 10, 15, 20. Much easier. We only needed four coins, didn't we? What about if we used our 10p coins? Let's count in tens. 10, 20. Hmm. So our 1p and our 2p coins are copper or bronze coins. We needed a lot of them to get up to 20. With our fives and tens, it was a lot quicker, wasn't it? But what if we wanted to pay for something that was 3p. Well, we're going to have to start using our learners. We're going to have to calculate. So if I got a one and a two, two add one is three. I have made three pence. If I wanted to make six pence, well, I think I could start with a five and then I just need to count on one more. Five, six. If I wanted to make seven, hmm. Well, I could get my five again, and I could get a two. And that's one of our learnets as well, isn't it? Five add two is seven. But if you can't remember all your learnets, you can also count on. So we could put, say that number five, put it in our heads. So five, six, seven. 
I've got to count on two. Five, six, seven. Let's get one more. Five, six, seven, eight. What about if I got the 2p coin? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can combine our coins to make any amounts we want. Let's have a think about our lollipop. It costs 6p. What should we do? Oh, we could have to do our 5 add 1, couldn't we? 5p add 1p equals 6p. 5 add 1 is 6. Or we could count in twos. 2 four, six. There's lots of different ways of making the same amount. What about if we bought our crayon for 7p? Hmm. Well, I could get my five again. Can you remember what made seven? Five add two. Five, six, seven. So we can make any amount we like by combining coins and we're going to learn a lot more about that. Now I've got some challenges for you. I'd like you to find some 1p, 2p, 5p and 10p coins from somewhere in your house. Maybe they're down the back of your sofa. Can you practice counting each type of coin? So practice counting in ones and twos and fives and tens. Can you put them in order of value? Which is the smallest number? Which is the largest number? Which will get you the most things when you use them in the shops? Can you practice taking two coins and add them up? Very good for your calculating skills. Now, the last few things I just want to show you are the two games on top marks that are really, really good for practising your money skills. This one is a shopping game and you've got to give the exact money to buy a toy. So if I just go onto my internet, here it is, the toy shop money game. You could practise with one coin, one type of coin. So you could just use 1p coins. Or you could just use 2p coins. Or you could practice mixed coins. You could buy, oh, that's a very easy one that's just come up first. It says that car's only 2p. So you've got to move your, put your 2p in there and then you've got to check it to see if you did it right. Okay, so that'd be really good for you to practice combining coins or counting out coins as well. That's a really fun way to do it. Now, if we go back and I'll show you the next game, it's also on top marks, it's the coins game. And there's three different things to do on here. You can do some sorting, some ordering or some counting. So if you were sorting, you would have to be looking very carefully at the coins and putting them in different boxes. This one wants you to put all the 1p coins in there and the 5p coins in there. There's also an ordering game, so you learn the value of the different coins. I've already done this one, so it's got a one, I've had to put a 1p coin in there, and a 2p coin in there, and a 5p coin in there, and then I'd move the 10 up to here, and the 20, and they're in order of value. Or I could be counting how much money there is in a piggy bank. So if we just go on to the, this game here, it's the coins game, you can see that there's sorting, or ordering, or counting. All of them will be really, really good for you. So if I just go onto the counting one, I could choose 1p to 10p. And this time in my piggy bank, I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then you just click on the 9p. Oh, and it tells me, well done. I did a really good job on that one. OK, so that's all I would like to introduce you to in this video, what I'd like you to do for the next video is find some money and we're going to find things around our house that we could pretend are in a shop and we're going to make a shop to practice all our counting money skills. OK, so you get practicing with the games here and then get back to me in the next video and we'll have a shopping game. OK, bye. See you later.